Hi guys, it's Simon here. I realise I've been really slow on updating the channel, so I'm really sorry about that. I've been coming down with a cold, I've been coughing all over the place yesterday, phlegm's coming up a lot more persistently, so I've kind of taken a bit of a break from the channel during that week. But today I'm going to get through the rest of the stuff I was going to get through, so hopefully we can start on a clean slate tomorrow. Now, my Worth It reaction video. That's had like 55 views this week. So for those of you who've watched it, thank you. It really means a lot to me that this is actually really getting up there, so thanks. Now, the first video set I missed was Wednesday's video set. And those days are known as the Hump Day Hopkins Rehash. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Hump Day Hopkins rehash is essentially where I go through the Twitter profile of controversial journalist Katie Hopkins and I select some of my favourite tweets she's tweeted or retweeted from other people on the timeline that week. But given that I didn't do it on Wednesday, I've had to go through quite a lot of stuff that have encompassed the other days. So it would usually be from like Wednesday through to Tuesday, but now I'm going from like yesterday all the way to whenever the last tweet was, which I think was, let me just check, there's like 43 something tweets. Let me go through, the 7th of May, so not that long. There's that last one, that's one I've really wanted to read, so let's get this over and done with so I can get there. We're going to start, unfortunately, with a little bit of hate. Live, love and leave said, at Katie Hopkins. Katie Hopkins' fanny is so big, the crabs go round and round in speedboats. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Wow, that sounds like fun. <laughs> And um, she retweeted back, uh, she tweeted back to him, not retweeted, made me laugh, spelled L-A-R-F, with a kiss to go with it. Well, at least he got some attention. Lap it up, because it's going to go quickly. Right, next one. Venus Psychic tweeted to Katie Hopkins, hilarious, maybe a Fifty Shades of Grey together at Katie Hopkins, at Piers Morgan, with, with a face screaming in fear. What I love about the computer is that it actually, when you hover over it, it tells you what emojis are there, and I really need that for day-to-day -day life. So Katie responded back to that tweet, I think Piers Morgan can provide the grey, I will throw some shade, darling. Which I think is quite a nice wordplay. Like they say, reading is fundamental. And Katie Hopkins generally reads the British public for filth every day. Oh my god! Oh thank god it doesn't match up because um, someone's Twitter profile picture is a picture of their breast area. So I don't want people seeing that. So just in case, I'm going to do this. Right. Boris and Kiki tweeted to Katie Hopkins... What the fuck is wrong with you? I'd be saying nothing, but... Eh. And, um, Katie responded back, If you are a doctor, your bedside nana... Your bedside nana needs some work, son. Your bedside nana needs some work. <laughs> Which is probably the same thing, given that Boris and Kiki sound like two children who haven't learned what good words are and what swear words are. So, let's move on from them. Okay, I can take that away now. This tweet reads, Truth is, at Piers Morgan wants my body, which is disturbing me because no woman should be saying Piers Morgan wants their body. It's just not natural. And she's got pictures of her looking absolutely stunning in her trademark blue dress, which has been photoshopped with a pole. Actually, it's a double photoshop. This was probably when she judged that gay nightclub competition a couple of months ago. People say they're sick of that blue dress, but I actually like it. It's really fashionable. So let's move on to what else we've got. <laughs> uh, 
Um, there's something about Lori Penny's grandmother that's been trending this week. So I have no idea what the hell people are going on about, but these responses that Katie has um, chosen is actually really hilarious. It says, Lori Penny's grandmother also had some of those badges you used to get off Robinson's Jam. Hashtag amazeballs. That would actually be really vintage for collecting if you're into that kind of stuff. Oh, Frigid is game tweeted, Lori Penny's grandmother invented Tinder so, so that she could message Hitler all the latest gossip while he was bunking it. Oh god, that's that's hot. That's actually pretty that's pretty controversial, but to be fair, I said that last week during my spotlight that the directioners were acting like Kanye West and Hitler all at once, so I'm generally not one to talk about controversy. So let's move on to other things. There'll be more Frigidis game ones, but I don't precisely believe that. I still ship Frankie and Erica. I know, old school, but I think they had a really good chemistry. Anyway, moving on from all this Wentworth stuff to the tweet that I was thinking when Penny Red started trending all over the place. Daniel Dickens tweeted to Katie Hopkins, Who is Penny Red? Why is she all over Twitter today? And what's the deal with her nana? Has she helped her win X Factor? Hashtag help. Whose nana helped them win X Factor? Oh no. Uh, Christopher Maloney didn't win X Factor, so you might want to revise that tweet. Sorry about it. This one. Oh, this one. I've actually gone through these, so it's actually still pretty funny. This says, very wise St. Ives, very wise. Keep the chubsters out. And what it essentially is, forgive me for stopping all the time, my phlegm's really catching in my throat, and... It's becoming a pain. So, if I take this down, it's Katie next to a gate, which would be impossible for a 500 pound person to get through. Either walking upright or being wheeled through on a stretcher in a body bag, because there's no way you'd be able to walk around weighing 500 pounds. There's no way. And please tell me my computer hasn't frozen, and it hasn't. <laughs> this one. Laurie Penny's grandmother invented the cricket bat and forgot to use it on her granddaughter's head. Thankfully, we've gotten to use it on balls. Unfortunately, this takes up most of Channel 9's coverage during the summer, meaning that I have nothing else to do rather than check my Twitter and Facebook feeds and my teen gauged feeds. And then I have nothing left to do. So thank you, Laurie Penny's grandmother, for inventing the cricket bat. Without you, I wouldn't be saying I'm bored. Thank you. Another frigid one. Laurie Penny's grandmother created the World Wide Web. Her first site was italkwank.com, now known as gov.uk. <laughs> After this week with the, in the UK with the, what's it called, the, the new party in cutting the, the welfare schemes for disabled people, that it would, that site would essentially actually be worth it right now. So, let's see what else we've got. David McOzland, McOzland, if, I hope he comes from Australia, says, Kate, at Katie Hopkins, Eat mouthful of syrup sponge. Reads Katie. Chokes on syrup sponge. Thanks, Katie. Hashtag hilarious. Actually, I'm going to give this a warning. I don't think I have to tell my listeners to eat syrup sponge and then read Katie. But I will. Don't eat syrup sponge and read Katie Hopkins straight after. So, let's see what else we've got. Laurie Penny's grandmother created the world. She is God, apparently. <laughs> I think it's listed somewhere in Second Kings, 1735. He commanded them, do not worship other gods, do not bow down to them or serve them. 
That's essentially the only thing I got out of the Adventures in Odyssey Christian tapes that I used to be given all the time, or I used to walk up to the local Christian shop and buy them. That's the only thing I got out of it, and that's kind of been something in mind when I've seen other things going around, like the, the gold calf in the... You know what, I'm going to stop talking about Bible references now because it's going to ruin me completely. Um, long story short, I'm letting it slide for this one because that's actually pretty funny. The sooner I get over this cold, the happier I will be. This one says, Laurie Penny's grandmother invented Tampax with pearl applicator. Bloody legend. I don't want to imagine tampons with pearl applicator to them. What the hell is that even supposed to be? <laughs> I'm a teenage boy, I don't know what Tampax is supposed to be. And I probably won't need to know until I'm about 20 because at the rate of my romantic life, I'm going to be lucky to have even had a, a girlfriend by 20. Or have a partner by 20. Single for 17 years, it's, it's really, it's not worth it, okay? So if you're watching this and you're under the age of 18, like around 16, 17, please find someone because you'll then get jealous at everyone else for having a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you don't have one. The story of my life. Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. This next one, the new Australian said... Laurie Penny's grandmother invented penicillin and retweeted it or added it to Katie Hopkins. She didn't see, I think. At least I think she didn't see. It doesn't pop up there that she didn't see, unless that's the favourites. But hopefully she saw because it popped up on her timeline. Actually, she probably did because it was there. So let's move on. Katie Hopkins says... I heard Penny Red's Nan was awarded a guide badge for needlework too. Impressive. And to be honest, that's really impressive because I can never get the hang of knitting. It's more my sister's kind of hobby to do. So, let's see what else we've got. Uh, this one I don't agree with precisely. It says, Happy for Noel Gallagher to be compared to me, as long as it's not that twat Liam Gallagher. I don't like Noel Gallagher. He's a bit of a dick. And he's even worse. He's what the Simon K show here would refer to as a giant, giant fucking asshole. And joins the ranks now alongside that very lovely couple from the X Factor New Zealand who seem to think wearing a suit is copying that irrelevant New Zealand man who married that British woman who both had singing careers and no one really knows the names of anymore. We don't talk about that here. It's personal. <laughs> and I also saw, actually, if we take off the topic here, uh, Noel Gallagher in an article on G14, and it says, a famous rock star or someone just told Zayn Malik that he's an idiot. Well done, J14, for hitting the nail on the head. Because nothing says we don't want you in the spotlight or we don't want you to be relevant any more than we don't know who the fuck you are. Nothing says that more. So let's see what else we've got. This one's actually surprised me when it popped up because if you see in the top right-hand corner of the photo, it has at Jamie174, who's been a very strong supporter of the show and one of my forerunner little Ks. So that's really good that she's getting a mention here. And it says, yup, that's me delivering my promises. And the photo is of um, Katie at the Celebrity Big Brother launch in 2015. And it says below, and I quote, make way for Queen Hopkins, you peasants. Which is actually, it's actually quite good. Like, look at, look at my face doing this. And then, um, look at her face and her right hand doing that. Is it a match? Yes? No? Let me know in the comments, because I've been trying to, like, impersonate Katie's kind of characteristic movements. I've been trying to do that 
that I think she's doing, but failing miserably, failing miserably at it. So please let me know if I'm doing at least this right. So let's move on. Ah, uh, it's time for poem reading. There stood Ed on a stage. He was all of a quiver. He gave a cough. Ed's balls fell off and floated down the river. Who knew Katie Hopkins was such a poet? I love it. <laughs> I'm reading that to my children in the future. <laughs> this is just so funny. This one I'll probably have to myself. Ed Balls has been castrated. My night slash day is made. <laughs> oh dear. The, the election must have really gone down crazily back in the UK. So let's see what else we've got. Sun Nation, we've just been blocked by George Galloway. That's actually quite an accomplishment. I don't want the, the guy who's going, would you like me to be the cat, lurking all over our, our Twitter pages. That just disturbs me and irks me. It's like the Babadook all over again. Like that. <laughs> I was a total wimp back there. And I probably still am. <laughs> One way or another, we'll find out when Halloween arrives. Because I'm probably going to do reactions that week to stuff from the Babadook. So, let's see what else we can find in these Hump Day Hopkins rehashes. Ah, uh, it's another retweet one. How has the election become all about Katie Hopkins staying or going? People need to sort their lives out. Hashtag General Election 2015 or GE 2015. And that's popped up on most posts, but I've just ignored it because it's over. And that's been submitted by Tatie Pie. Tatie Pie, you have got your life in order. It's precisely what I say. If you're really getting into such a hiver and diver because of what I'm saying, and this happened when um, I made that reaction video on the winner of Celebrity Big Brother 2015 being revealed earlier in the year, people whinging and whining and moaning about me supporting Katie. If you're really that fussed over what I'm doing, look at some real world issues and then come back and see if it's really necessary to call me pathetic. Because it's not. There are things out there that you should be trying to stop and things out there that you should be trying to get involved in. You shouldn't be trying to get involved in my antics or my my view on the world unless it's unless it's positive which is fine or constructive don't just say i'm pathetic when really there's wars and terrible things going on in the world but there are also good things if you watch 10 eyewitness news because they usually have like cute little animals on at the end so get your head stuck in that rather than get your nasty opinion stuck on me got that got it good Sorry if I went off on a tangent there, I just felt like that needed to be said. So let's move on. Katie says, I will be say staying in the UK, not saying, staying in the UK and intend to become David Cameron's new fat Tazar. He is not aware of this yet. <laughs> and I, I just love how, like, it's the picture from Celebrity Big Brother and she's just photoshopped on some really fancy clothing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the fat Tazar, Miss Katie Hopkins. I was going to do dog... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was going to say... <laughs> I was going to say I was going to do God Save the Queen, but I don't know the words to it. But it came out dog... I just said dog, and then I realised, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, dog saved the queen. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I, we all need a blessing at this point in the series. Let's just move on. George Galloway is out. George, respect? Don't make me laugh, love. We have no respect for people pretending to be Muslim. And quite clearly, I don't either. Unless your life is under risk, there is no reason for you to be faking a religion. No reason. 
let's move on. My night is utterly made. All I need is a cheeky additional UK IPC from Farnet South. Balls out, not you, Nigel, and Galloway out. Nigel, put your balls away, please. It's not, it's not seductive, it's just gross. Moving on. We still think Ed Ball's MP has lost. Is there a doctor in the house? He will go the full purple. It'll be like, it's actually purple's my favourite colour. So it'll be like, yay, oh fuck, he's choking, he's dead. Which is actually maybe entertaining for some, but not for me, because I really don't want to watch real life people on television dying. Characters I can handle. Joffrey I can handle, but not a real life death. Okay, this one from Stuart Penny says, Katie Hopkins, you know I love you, Katie, but I found this moderately mirthsome. And it's essentially a lookalike between Katie Hopkins and a proboscis monkey. And it says, Sir, perhaps some of your more zoologically minded readers have noticed the remarkable similarities between the proboscis monkey and a member of the old world primate group Oh, a member of the old world primate group, I thought he was slagging her off then, and Katie Hopkins, vigorous pomp proponent of traditional values. Alex Duffy, via email. Remove the IE, and you could have been incredibly relevant, but you've got the IE, so this is as much as you're getting. Sorry, mate. Bye-bye. Next up. Hell's Bells. Vince Cable, off to retirement. The business secretary never looked more old than right at this moment. Aww. Let's move on. Because I really don't even understand what I just said. Whoop whoop. Under Bojo, the people of Britain will get their mojo back. Bojo 4pm 2020. I only just picked this one out because it had the word mojo in it. And on the mention of that, Katie Hopkins appeared in a Watch Mojo Top 10 list. Unfortunately, it was Top 10 Dumb Things Said by Celebrities. And it was going over her comments of her daughter India not being named after a country. I think she's already cleared this up. So that excuses her from there, but it doesn't excuse her from the list. But at least it was an honourable mention. Because most of the other things said by the celebrities in that list were kind of really ridiculous. Especially the top one by 50 Cent. I can't even remember what he said, but I can remember bits and pieces. And it sounded pretty vile. So, let's see what else there is. There's footsteps downstairs, so hopefully our guests haven't arrived. My grandma and my grandpa are arriving tonight, so hopefully it doesn't coincide with this. So, let's get this out of the way. And there's that little arrow thing's now gone, which means I can get through the tweets a lot more quicker. Recount demanded in Bradford West. Undoubtedly, Galloway can't believe people have, haven't voted twice as promised. Why should you even be voting twice? Once is enough. Galloway's just greedy for publicity or greedy for a seat. So, I have no time for him. Bye-bye, Galloway. You won't be missed. Let's see this next one. We're finally out of the election thing. Unless it's this... Oh, no, there's more election stuff. <laughs> Which is what every teenager feels when they watch the news. Believe it or not. Okay. This one says, Jamie tweeted, I would smash the life out of Katie Hopkins. Hashtag just saying. And Katie responded, as chat-up lines go, this one is a little direct. No one should be smashing the life out of anyone. Get your fists out of people's face, Jamie. It's not a good look. This oh, one. If anyone says the word cavit, cavit, it sounds French, cavit. One more time, I will take my BBC TV licence and force feed it to the local Labour candidate. That's better than what most people I know would do. And I have mentioned this before. 
in which case you would be seeing the programs on the BBC, then slamming your head against the wall so hard that you end up putting yourself into a coma. In the words of Pearl from RuPaul's Drag Race, tragic. So let's move on from that tragic thing to this. Tories might take Ed Ball's seat. If so, I will dance naked around my house. The man will carry on comfort eating will be disastrous. It's nice how I said tragic just to coincide with that and I didn't even know. So, whoever's living across the street from her, it, she's, or he's, or the kids are going to get a really nasty surprise when they see a naked woman dancing around the house. Mummy, I think I see my tennis balls. No, those aren't tennis balls. Go to the lounge room. Go, go somewhere else where there's no rooms. Go to your bedroom. Go to your bedroom. <laughs> those are not tennis balls. That's not a pack of Cadbury roses. <laughs> okay. Room... <laughs> We're still in election stuff. I need to be serious. Rumours, George, I'm not a Muslim, but I'll pretend if it kills me, Galloway has lost his seat. Downs magnum of champagne. I'm straight edge, so I can't exactly advocate for this, but I really feel for her at this point. Because when you drink a magnum of champagne, there's a very good chance you're going to have a very painful hangover the next morning. Glug, 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 glug. Yeah. I have a headache. Bleah. Like that. Although then again, that's what's generally been shown from television and movies, so don't take my word from that. Okay, what else is there? Bloody hell, my husband voted Labour in the hope I leave the country. Little sod. <laughs> I, I just love this. They're like... They're like relationship goals or something. I love it. Moving on. Isabel said, Jesus Christ, Katie Hopkins is a savage. With three emojis with face of tears of joy and then a loudly crying face. And it highlights the specific point of Katie's bio, which is gained and lost 3.5 stones to prove that fat people are lazy. <laughs> I like... I like that. It's actually, it's actually a shame that we didn't get, oh my god, that just exited a whole lot of them. Okay, that's pretty much sad that my fat story was only allowed on Foxtel, which means I have to wait eternity for the DVD to come out. Or I can just take money out from my Christmas savings and ask Glory to buy it online. So, there's always that option. Okay, this one. Right, Rusty Rockets, you walking willy on a wand. I put my nadges on the line. Time for you to oppity fuck. <laughs> which is actually... Which is actually funny. Is Russell Brand really reformed? Like, I'm pretty surprised with all of these videos. Is he, like, reformed or something? If so, it's about fucking time. At least, now he can probably get his hair trimmed, because at the moment, from his past photos, he looks like a hobo from the street. But then again, anyone could have just told you that. Even my little cousins could have told you that. Even my dog could have said that. If it could talk. Although I'm quite sure bark, 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 bark sounds like Russell Brand looks like a hobo on the street. Translation from yours truly. So, let's see what else we've got. Mark tweeted out a photoshopped Playboy with Katie Hopkins who, looking fat on it. And Katie responded back with, Just me and my ex-gunt, here to stay. And we wouldn't have it any other way, sweetheart. So let's see what else we've got. Ah, the Hopkins Army, or at Katie Hopkins fans on Twitter, says, What was that about Katie Hopkins leaving the country? With a face with tears of joy. And it has Katie doing this on there. I had to hold back in my phone again. 
This cold will be the death of me. Now I'm going to try mimicking it. Where are eyes? Oh, they're there. Tell me if I got that on the ball. <laughs> Air balls. <laughs> oh god, I just realised. <laughs> that poor sod, I'd have that changed straight away. <laughs> poor bloke must have been bullied so badly in primary school. Poor bloke. <laughs> but why am I laughing? It's just making it worse, so let's just move on. Okay. This is actually a tweet from a very long time ago, which is kind of one of the ones that makes me chuckle, but makes me go, really? You had to do that? Which is a prime example. So, Katie said a long time ago, once upon... Let's do, let's do like, storytelling. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, Katie Hopkins was once asked a question by a very fat child. She had to explain she doesn't answer fat children. The moral of the story? Learn sign language. It's a very nice substitute for words when you don't know what to say. The end. I am never going to get hired by play school and somehow I'm okay with this. So, let's see. Someone needs to send me her column because this actually looks interesting. How to survive exams, diet pills, Beyonce's bits. <laughs> Why are we even talking about Beyonce's bits? The woman I don't want to be and free range parenting. Are they like free range eggs? Because I've heard those are actually quite nice. So, hopefully it ends well. But given it's Katie Hopkins, it probably won't. So what's this? Oh, this one. This person called Buttsy. They see butts for a living, which is the only way I can assume that they've actually typed this. It says, Really, but, how funny would it be if you were beaten to death with strobe lights, Katie Hopkins, you saggy C-word? And Katie responded with, With respect, not all epilepsy is triggered by strobe lights. Luckily, mine's not triggered by twats on Twitter. Nice little bit of alliteration there, and snay, Katie, snay. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so, this one. Thank you, Trumpton Labor, I'm not going to be needing this. Dave the Rave has this all sewn up, and it essentially what it is, is a uh, pass to her from London to Antarctica, and it's just written next to it, if it pushes itself up and it doesn't look like it wants to show there it looks like it says ice wonder what people will be doing there root, 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 root. <laughs> oh my god I cannot I can't believe I just did that unfortunately that is the life of a drug addict summed up in a few seconds Bar the OD. And I love how it says this on the side. Katie Hopkins, we hope you enjoy your one-way flight to Antarctica. LOL, just joking. We hate you. <laughs> I'm loving this. And finally, we're at this thing that I've been wanting to look at. She wrote an open letter to her kids. And I've been waiting weeks and weeks on end to actually... Not weeks on end, days on end to actually do this. But I've been, like, really... I've been having to do a re-self-evaluation after seeing a video on YouTube, so I've kind of blocked myself off from the channel, that and the cold. So, now I'm finally going to be able to read this, and it's gotten a lot of people teared up, so hopefully this ends well. Dear children, you are safe at school now. I like walking you there because I get to hear more about what you are thinking, and there is space for me to listen. And I understand more about how you see the world at 10, 9, and 6. Why the hell would you buy a car the same colour as your kid's hair? It is not exactly insightful stuff. But if these are your biggest worries, I'm serving you well. I won't always be there to, here to do that. We know Mum's doctor says her epilepsy will get her one day. Fruit Loop says karma will. But either way, I wanted to write down a few things for you to remember as you get bigger. 
Never trust a zebra crossing. Just because they are named after a friendly animal doesn't mean drivers accord them the same respect. The one near your school is lethal. Think Guardian, Daily Mail and The Independent. Left, right and no one even cares. This is actually very sweet. Girls are weird. If the girls in your class start to make you feel upset about yourself, find some boys to hang out with. Girls think handbags matter. This is one step away for being a Scientologist. Oh, this is actually funny but really sad as well. Because she's giving like this, she's giving like this thing to do just in case she dies. Sometimes doing well is reason enough for other people to put you down. If someone frowns at you, smile back. Absorbing ill will makes you stronger, and I want you to be the strongest person you can be. When you get older, kiss boys or girls or both. You'll wonder why some people seem so amazing. Remember, everyone has to wee. Weeing makes us all the same, no matter how fantastic someone looks in a dress. We agree, Tampax makes great mice, but not everyone thinks like us. Sometimes we're odd. This is okay too. One day you might think you want to stay with one person for the rest of your life. Perhaps you will want to wear a big want dress to you want you will want to wear a big want dress to celebrate. Ask yourself, will I look back in five years and think I look like the right twat? Mummy should have done this. I hope to be there for your big day, but more importantly, I want to be there if all, if it all goes wrong. My mum was there for me when this happened. You girls were, were a year old and less than a month back then, and your grandma and grandpa made it all okay, somehow. Most of all, I want you to find the fun like we do, to dance in your kitchen, to wear pants on your head because leg holes make great eye holes and eat chips in the rain. If you all forget this, that's okay. Mummy made some real cock-ups that are documented on Google, but has no regrets and wouldn't change a single thing, especially not the three of you. Wherever I am, I will always be in the room next door. Love you lots, Mum. That's, that's actually really beautiful. See, if people... Now if people say that Katie Hopkins is a right mean old bitch, I can direct them to this. This shows that she does have a heart. Look no further than this letter to her kids. It's actually really beautiful and I... Oh, God. I think I can feel like water forming in my eyes. Which is slang for I think I might be crying. Bloody hell. Oh my gosh. That was actually so beautiful. Dear gosh, I've got to stop this. I've got to stop now before I descend into the need of needing Kleenex. Okay. So that's pretty much that. I'm going to get that, try and upload that as quickly as I can, and try and upload everything else as quickly as I can as well. But given that this is like 38 minutes, it's going to take a while. So if I don't get all the videos done today, I'll try carrying them over tomorrow. So, right. I've gone through 43 tweets of the amazing Miss Katie Hopkins. And there's really nothing else left to say now other than bye guys. See ya.